everyone. Welcome to Maker Monday. My name is Leslie and I'm the Reading Safari and Stream Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today we are going to be making kazoos. Woo! And to make kazoos all you need is a toilet paper tube, some wax paper, rubber band, pair of scissors, and optionally, a pencil. All right, grab those things. We're gonna get started. We're gonna make some music. All right, see you back here. The first step is to take your wax paper and to cut it into, cut it in half. That's a good one. Got that. I'm gonna take our toilet paper tube and we're going to put this over and fill a paper tube like that. We're gonna hold it on there. It's nice and tight. And we're gonna take our rubber band and we're going to wrap it around so that we are securing the wax paper to the toilet paper tube. So it's nice and tight, okay? Look like this after. And that is pretty much it. I mean, it's very simple. So we're gonna test this thing really quick. All right, we've got our kazoo. I'm going to experiment with sound and vibration by using this in our throat. Vibrating and the sound will come out. It will go down this tube and you will hear noises. You will hear maybe something like music, but I can't guarantee that. Ready? Okay, so practicing with that, it's a little hit or miss. If you heard the vibrations, right? It sounded like a kazoo. And then some other times it doesn't, and... One of the things that I did not do, which is optional, is you can poke a hole into your toilet paper tube and um, so that, but just, just one hole so that air is coming out and then we'll see how that works. So I got my, I poked my hole in here. All right, got my hole. We'll see if this helps us maybe get a little more of a consistent sound. All right, so that appears to have helped. And that is, I mean, just very simple. This is a kazoo. Now, with a with something like this, you could, of course, make it a little more complicated. You could add stickers. You could paint your toilet paper tube. You can cut your wax paper so it's not quite as long. And those are all things that you can do to make your kazoo more beautiful if you're, say, going to go on tour with homemade instruments. Then yes, you would probably want to um, decorate your kazoo or just, just for fun, you know. However, I'm going to leave mine simple because that's just what I'm going to do. You can also experiment with a paper towel tube, and even if you wanted to experiment with something like a gift wrap, tube of gift wrap. So those are all possibilities that you can try at home. You can experiment with types of rubber bands. This one's thicker, this one's thinner. You can experiment on where you place your rubber band and if it makes a big difference, say if you wanted to put your rubber band down here, you could do that, or you could leave it closer to the top. I think it's it works better when it's closer to the top. You could experiment like I did with poking a hole, maybe poking more holes, maybe not doing any holes at all. It kind of just depends on what you feel like doing. But it's a fun, it's a fun um, experiment. It's a fun project. It's so simple, and yet <clears throat> it's such a great illustration of how sound works. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in on this Maker Monday. I hope you have a great week and I will see you soon. Ready? <laughs>
Awesome. See you later.